Hi guys, it's Emily from Doa Deer Nursery here. And as part of my back injury out of commission video day, someone suggested that I do an updated personal collection video. So I'm going to try this, doing this with um, as steady a hand as possible and show you guys what my collection is like at the moment. So as you can see, I currently only have two personal collection babies. Uh, my nursery does feel very empty right now uh, because I just recently sent two babies to their new mommies. One was the Princess Charlotte I made as a make-to-sell baby and then she was um, snapped up by her new mommy who um, chose some custom painted hair for her. And then the other baby I've had in my nursery for a little while was the Summer Rain Kit that I painted as my giveaway baby. And I just met up with his mommy earlier in um, the weekend, this past weekend, and she got to take him home. So right now I am, apart from my personal collection babies, uh, babyless. So I'm anxious to get started on my next round of customs, but you know, as you know, I'm not going to be doing any painting for the next couple days because of my back injury. But I want to show you who I have right now. So the first baby, who you would probably know very well if you follow me on Instagram, is little Miss Allison Hadley. I'm trying to get as much light on them as possible. She is the Hattie Kit by Cassie Brace, or Cassie Brace Peak. She was reborn by Shelby of Giggles and Grins Nursery. Um, as far as I know, she is no longer taking customs, or at least at this time she does have a real new baby girl of her own but she is beautifully beautifully painted she's kind of a um, medium skin tone like a darker Caucasian skin tone but she's got incredible realism I just adore her eyelashes and I believe her hair was painted by Mandy Hannon of Chrysalis Dolls Chrysalis Nursery and I have considered in the past um, selling her simply because I haven't really been interacting with her very much recently. But the more I sit with it, the more I think just because I'm maybe a little bit more bonded with another baby right now and not interacting as much doesn't mean I still don't love her and think she's absolutely beautiful. And I do think I would regret, at least right now, parting with her from my personal collection. So she's going to stay with me for now. And then over here is my newer baby girl. This is Sayla Drew. She is the Serenity Kit by Laura Lee Eagles. Let me take her little pacifier off. Now this is a kit that I actually didn't kind of fall for right away. It kind of took some warming up for me. Um, I tend to like sleeping babies with a slightly grumpy expression, kind of like Miss Hattie over here has. But I don't like babies, or I tend not to like babies with too dramatic of an expression, grumpy or otherwise. And Serenity does have kind of a scrunched up face. But the more I saw different artist interpretations of this kit, the more it grew on me and the more I started to fall in love with it. And then when I saw this version, I knew I just loved it and had to have it. So, Sayla was made by Cindy. Oh, my, my puppy just jumped up next to the babies. I normally don't let him around my customs at all, but he is allowed around my personal collection babies, so he can hang here. <laughs> anyway, she was made by Cindy of ABC Triplet Baby on Instagram. I don't know if she has a YouTube account, um, but believe it or not, Sayla was only her second fully completed Reborn doll, which just blows me away. She definitely has a lot of um, artist experience. She was a fashion doll artist for many years, I believe, and then more recently got into Reborns. But if you follow her on Instagram, you'll see she took plenty of time to learn and practice and just fine-tune her craft and it really shows in her painting 
Um, she has incredible realism. And what I love is it's very subtle realism. She doesn't look overly painted to me or overly splotchy or overly newborn. She's quite, you know, delicate and peaches and cream looking, but still looks very real. And she does have the most beautiful rooted hair. I just brushed it. It's not fully dry, but she's the first rooted baby I've ever owned. And even though it's quite a bit of maintenance, I think I am in love with rooted hair. I love Hattie's painted hair, but I'm now really considering having her rooted over top. Whether that's her full head or just combi, I'm undecided, but I'm just so in love with the rooted hair look that I think I want all my personal collection babies to have it. But anyway guys, I'll give you one last look at my two beautiful girls, Allison Hadley and Sayla Drew. And you'll see lots more photos and videos of them, I'm sure. I expect they'll both be in my personal collection for a very, very long time. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.